In the Mix. Presented by California Pizza Kitchen. Now located in the second floor of the Plaza Shopping Center across from DFS Galleria. Hi, everybody, everybody. I'm Sabrina Salas Matinani. Welcome to another episode of In the Mix. We are switching things up. I am totally geeking out in this report because I recently had the opportunity to check out this new technology that's being used to control the brown tree snakes on Guam. And this is being done to actually uh, restore our native bird population. Here's a look at the ADS, is the Aerial Delivery System. There's an estimated two million brown tree snakes on Guam. Many of you may say, well, I haven't seen any. According to Guam's USDA Wildlife Services State Director, Robert Goose Gosnell, they're here. They're everywhere. Okay. They're in the city, they're in the jungle, they're we catch as many in the city as we do in the jungle. So they're everywhere, just, they're, they're, they're good. They're good at, at hiding and stuff like that. Goose says their office catches at least 21,000 brown tree snakes a year, but that's just part of their regular operations and inspections. We do it at the port, um, at, the, at the airport, you know, points of, points of, um, of exit off of Guam to make sure that the snake doesn't end up somewhere else. So it calls it, a bad uh, hardship on the economy. And for Guam, the brown tree snake has severely impacted our ecosystem, nearly wiping out Guam's native bird population. Snake comes in and eats all the birds, but then you, you, you lose a lot of things. Uh, you start losing pollinators because the bees get caught in the spider webs because there's way more spiders than there used to be and there's no birds to eat them. There's no birds to disperse seeds from, from the native jungle around here to, to go back on the landscape. So. It's kind of a pyramid effect on everything that's out here instead of just one species affecting one other species. It's a pyramid effect that affects the whole ecosystem. So the goal is the goal is not really to eradicate the snake. We'd love to do that, but to manage the snake to where that the native fauna and, and flora of Guam can be reintroduced and survive with the snake being on the landscape also. It was in 2012 the USDA, the military and local government partners launched a project to drop manual bait drops from a helicopter to control the snakes. Mice with acetaminophen were glued to cardboard with streamers attached and by hand were dropped into the jungle from a helicopter. It's since evolved over the years and now there's a new aerial delivery system or ADS. This is a problem that's what happens on Guam with the snake is unlike anything else around the world. And so the solution had to be like something unlike the rest of the world too. Recently, Joint Region Marianas and the USDA Wildlife Services completed its latest brown tree snake aerial bait application over the Habitat Management Unit, or HMU, at Anderson Air Force Base using this new ADS. The HMU is a 55 hectare block of native limestone forest. It is surrounded by a chain link fence fitted with a brown tree snake exclusionary barrier. More than 6,000 capsules containing neonatal mice and a federally approved dose of acetaminophen were dropped over the HMU. Aaron Collins is the ADS coordinator for Wildlife Services. So this is the capsule that goes into what we call our ADS, our aerial delivery system. So the bait, the streamer, everything's encapsulated here in case the it's too busy of a background. So that way, what this allows is that you can have a large amount of baits together without things tangling, and that's what allows the machine, which you guys can get a good look at, to fire these at four, uh, four cartridges per second over an area. Unlike the manual bait drops, the new automated system allows for quicker and larger scale bait drops. You're looking at being able to address an area, you know, 10 times the size you normally address with just, you know, uh, manual labor out there working on it. Plus you can reach areas that nobody can go to. There's a lot of cliffs, a lot of jungles. So when we get to that point, we'll be able to drop over those areas. After a couple of days, a team heads into the HMU to measure the snake response. And because each capsule is color coded, the team is able to conduct a quality assessment of the system. Shane Sears is one of the project leaders and a research biologist with USDA. So after they drop the baits, we're going to have some people go through the forest and, and looking for the cartridges on the ground. What's important is these were designed to hang up in the tree, uh, but if they don't open up, 
properly in the air, they'll fall through the ground. And we want to know that that happened as a quality control check on the system to make sure that's not a, a problem. So if we go through the forest and we find you know, a, a good number of these cartridges unopened on the ground and they're all marked with purple, we know, okay, it was batch number 0318 and that's where the problem was. The new ADS was developed by Applied Design Corporation based out of Boulder, Colorado. Chief Engineer Michael Massaros. There's three basic aspects that our firm did. Um, we, we designed the bay cartridge, again, like I said, to, um, to lend itself to volume manufacture and proper aerial and, and canopy, jungle canopy performance. Uh, so w once having that design in hand, then, then we began designing the manufacturing equipment to be able to make it, but also the, the system, what we call the ADM, the Automated Dispensing Module, to be able to go ahead and broadcast these out over the jungle, you know, at a prescribed rate. So this, this electromechanical system right here, again, um, it's, uh, uh, this, this ADM holds a total of 3,600 baits. Um, this can, the, including turns, this can uh, sh um, basically broadcast this load of baits in, in a little bit, right around 30 minutes. Um, and then comes back for, for reloading uh, by the team on the ground with the next set of magazines. Um, again, as I was saying, we currently have a payload manager that flies on board the helicopter. Um, he controls this with, uh, with flight software that's integrated with, with GPS so that you know, he, knows, he knows where he is over the, over the target zone um, and the system also records uh, what, it's, what it's putting out. Um, and, and also and we set the rate of broadcast so that regardless of the speed of the helicopter, the system automatically adjusts to put out the bait at the, at the prescribed spacing which for, the, for these missions is nine meters, nine meter spacing. That's about, about 30 feet in between the successive baits. So it lays down a whole line of baits about 30 feet apart um, you know, through the jungle. Then the helicopter goes out, turns around, comes back and flies the next line right parallel to that previous line. Uh, that the lines are spaced nine meters too. So there, we basically put down a grid of these baits, nine meters by nine meter uh, grid of the baits. The ADS is part of a Department of Defense funded project associated with the Marine Corps realignment. It is also in partnership with the local government and the University of Guam. Mark Hall is the program manager of Joint Region Marianas's Brown Tree Snake Program. The evolution of uh, the automated delivery system is a, uh, a big step forward for landscape uh, suppression of the snake. Uh, there is hopes that eventually the science will lead us towards uh, eradication of the brown tree snake, but uh, you know, obviously everything has to be taken in step and in progress. The science has to help inform us, uh, but the Navy is very happy and willing to support these efforts along with our other partners, in, including uh, USGS, the, the Marine Corps, uh, US Fish and Wildlife, and the group of us that are invested in providing conservation efforts for threatened and endangered species on Guam. Part of that group is the Guam Department of Agriculture. Diane Weiss is the supervisor for the Division of Aquatic and Wildlife Resources. Over the last few years, the agency has been conducting an awareness campaign called Contra y Culepla, or Attack the Snake. The main goal is to control the brown tree snakes in order to progress with wildlife recovery. When we're bringing native birds back, if we're releasing cocoa birds, uh, they need the best chance for survival. So we're going to be creating predator pr predator reduced areas. Um, it would be great to have predator free areas, but uh, cocoa birds have been shown to be able to reproduce in areas where there are snakes at low levels. So we can control those predators and bring back the native birds of Guam. And the Contra y Culebla program, it reminds us there's there's an entire generation, possibly two, that have not seen the native birds on Guam. During the recent drop, all partners were on hand, including Guam EPA, DOD, Joint Region Marianas, USDA, UOG, and the Department of Agriculture. The aerial bait drop program has been in its experimental phase for almost a decade. Another drop is scheduled for June. If all goes well, the USDA is hoping to go beyond the military properties and conduct aerial bait drops for the government of Guam, in the future. 
And once again, I just want to clarify that this is an experiment. It's research that has been conducted for several years now, and it is highly regulated. We're going to have more stories like this next week on In The Mix. But for now, stay tuned because we have so much more.